nice easy stretch to do for the inner thigh muscles or the medial thigh. So we're looking to target your inner hamstring muscles, specifically the semitendinosus, semimembranosus, kind of a mouthful, but uh, they're more on the inner side of the uh, thigh. Also a lot of the different groin muscles which are you know, on the inner side of the thigh as well. So we're going to bias different movements at the hip as well as the knee and ankle to help target some of these. So there's a lot of different ways to do this or at least for these muscle groups. This is just showing you with a chair how to easily get a nice stretch there. So what you're going to do, I'm going to demonstrate with my right side. So I've got a, a chair here. And the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to keep the knee at this bent angle. So this means I'm going to target more of the adductor muscles because of that, although some of them do bend the knee. So what I'm doing, I bring my leg up. I'm kind of, you know, at some kind of angle here, not straight ahead, not straight out to the side, but more like 45 degrees. What I do is I hinge, really important to only hinge in this position. And then what I can do, so I'm holding on to something over here, I want to almost spin out. I want to turn my body this way, but I'm going to keep my elbow on the inner thigh to help block my knee. So as I do that, I feel a nice pull through there. I can gently start to hinge forward a little bit more. It's like I'm reaching for something there. Now, it's really important as you stretch anything, really, especially at the hip, we don't want to be tight there. So don't have your muscles activated like you're trying to hold your leg up. Nice and loose, nice and uh, relaxed there. So as I'm hinging, I get that feel there, and I'm just kind of pushing my elbow apart as I rotate out. Okay. So then the next little step, we're going to straighten the leg. So we're going to get a lot more of the hamstring involvement here. So same thing. I've got my foot straight up. I'm turning my body out, so I'm at like a 45 degree angle here. Now a lot of the stuff is the same. I keep my knee straight, I hinge back. And again, I'll hold on to something just to make it a little easier. Now some different aspects to do here. So as I hinge straight back, what I wanna do is I'm pushing the inner part of my foot down. So I'm everting my ankle and plantar flexing it. What that does, as I spin out like we just did with the other one, so I'm like rotating my pelvis this way, this locks your tibia into uh, external rotation. So that's why we're getting such a good pull on these uh, inner hamstring muscles. We're creating internal femoral rotation, femur, while blocking this into uh, external rotation. So we're just reversing the actions of these muscles. So as I do that, I sit back, I'm pushing my big toe down, I'm already feeling big stretch here. And then what I can really do to drive it home, I'm going to reach down. So everybody's gonna have different levels of flexibility when they do this. Some you're not even gonna be able to reach because you're already stretching. Some are gonna be able to get all the way to the floor and wondering, hey, when's the stretch start? Probably not for you. Or you know, some of you have so many problems in the hips, you know, you can't even get around the pinch in the hip. Therefore, also probably not for you. We've got to figure out something else to do. So uh, some different ways to stretch inner thigh. I can hold. I can just push the foot, relax the foot, push the foot, relax, just go back and this forth. This is an area that's often very fibrotic, uh, nasty, gritty. Uh, for whatever reason, um, there's a lot of possibilities there. I think squat forms, one of them weakness in other areas, so that's kind of like a separate topic altogether, but would be the main focus of what we would do in the office. So some simple ways, go ahead and give these a try.